everyone. Today I have this package from K-Town for you to unbox. It is a little bit on the large side and it does have a little bit of damage to the exterior packaging which does concern me a little bit but hopefully it'll be securely well wrapped inside and all the goodies will be fine. Taking a look inside the box, it looks like all the bubble wrap did a pretty good job keeping everything safe so that's good. So with the bubble wrap off, we can take a look at the two items that I have to unbox today. We have Oneness's first single album in its time. This is their most recent release at the time of me filming this. I'm filming this the day before they make their comeback with their new mini album, Lived. I have pre-ordered that one as well, and we'll be doing an unboxing as soon as I receive my copy of that. But this is the last Korean album I need to complete my bonus collection so far. And I also purchased the Luna Island Summer Package, which is huge. It is so much bigger than I was expecting it to be. Um, and I pre-ordered it from K-Town for you, so it came with the set of bonus pre-order photo cards. So this is Oneness's first single album in its time. It came out earlier this year in the spring. I think it was just before Road to Kingdom started airing. And it is musically a little bit simpler than one of his other albums. There's only two tracks on this single. But I think that was because they were focusing more of their time and energy on Road to Kingdom and preparing for that. So this was probably just something put out relatively quickly to kind of keep their name in the public eye while they were competing on Road to Kingdom. That way they didn't spend like a whole year in between comebacks because they're just now in August gearing up for their first post Road to Kingdom comeback. And that would have been nearly a year since Lit was released if they had just waited to come back after Kingdom. It's not my personal favorite song or concept wise, but what I've seen of the packaging looks really gorgeous, so I think that will probably make up for it. And since I did my first 1S unboxing, they, along with One Wee, actually have ended up moving up and becoming alt groups of mine. So I do plan on collecting all of their albums from this point forward. So now I'm even more excited to have this in my collection and super excited for their upcoming comeback. On the spine got embossed gold letters. They're kind of hard to read, but it says in its time. And on the back, it says one its first single album in its time, and it has the track listing, which is the title track, A Song Written Easily, and the B-side, Hide and Seek. And it is not conventional album packaging. It opens up like that, and it is uh, more of an envelope style. So here's everything that slid out of the envelope. Um, already I'm seeing something kind of familiar from my one way unboxing. We have this little envelope which contains the CD, which was sealed with clear tape, which I just cut through because I didn't want to damage anything. And that is what the CD looks like. I will say the album graphics with all the floral stuff are very, very pretty. I am a huge sucker for floral aesthetics like that. Next up, we have... Um, let's look at the sticker pack. So that is what it is. And behind the sticker pack, we have this uh, kind of postcard, which has this like dramatic text with, I guess, the storyline of the album. And it's just black on the back with the flower design. So the actual stickers are pretty cute. You get um, these little individual member ones if they will focus. We have gummies. Soho's. These remind me a lot of the ones that came in O&F's On and Off album. So we've got Lido, Raven, Wanum, Dongju, and then the flower design, which is so pretty. Some more aesthetic designs. We've got this road. It says, I'll lead you if you need me. And it's time. That's actually really pretty. It's simple, but very pretty. Uh, we have this one here. And they're all just blank on the back. Another one. This is in its time. And then this group sticker. Very cute. 
I'm not personally a huge sticker person myself, but I know that a lot of K-pop fans are because they do a lot of bullet journaling and stuff like that. I like to use stickers for their spreads. So I can definitely see how this would be appealing if you are interested in those kind of hobbies as well. So we have the photo book. And behind it we have a random member poster. I have seen everybody's posters, but I don't remember whose is whose. I do know it's not Gunny's, because I remember Gunny's had red string. I thought that was kind of interesting, considering his teasers for their new album, Live, also involved red string. Okay, so this one says, and our time begins now on the back, and it has a clock of some sort. Ah, and it is Soho's, which is very pretty. And the text up top says, remembering every moment we've passed. So the photo cards must be inside the photo book. A lot of times when an album will have a lot of extra bonuses like this, they'll throw the photo card in with some of those. So I wasn't sure if that would be the case here, but it doesn't look like it. So on the front of the photo book, we have that flower design again, and it says, want us, and it's time. Inside, that is more of a yellow. It's not really coming out quite right on camera. It's still coming out more greenish. Oh, this is very pretty. One of my friends who bought this album before me described the photo book as being kind of magazine-like. I definitely see what she means now, feeling the material of the paper. That is so pretty. I believe it was New Zealand they went to to film this. So we have the lyrics for Song Run Easily and Hide and Seek. Oh, here's photo card number one. It's on Gunny's page. Might it be Gunny? Oh no, it's actually you know. I really liked his blue hair. This era, that was pretty cool. Yeah, this is actually. Oh, <gasps> oh my God! Wait, I I recognize that signature. I got one of Dongju's winter cards. Oh, that's really nice. I am amazed that I'm actually already at the point where I can recognize their signatures. That normally takes longer. But that is really nice because he has one of my biases. He is actually my main bias in Oneus. And this is my first time pulling any of his cards. So that's really cool. But as I was saying, this really is much more like a photo book. Kind of photo book, like a standalone photo book you would buy. Rather than the ones that normally come in albums. So that is actually really nice. I really like the denim outfits here. I wasn't a huge fan of all of the styling I've seen from this era, but I like the denim ones. They're really cute to me. Did not know there were going to be a uh, unit photos in this photo book, but those are my two biases right there, so that's a very pleasant surprise. Love that photo. Oh, yeah, this is a really gorgeous photo book, honestly. Oh, that is so pretty. With the color of the sea behind him. Oh, that is gorgeous. And I love that outfit a lot, too. Yeah, this is actually way more gorgeous than I was expecting it to be, not gonna lie. Because I am normally very skeptical of physical albums that only have one or two songs on them. But they did a really good job with this one of really putting time and attention into the packaging and really making it worth the purchase. Oh, I almost forgot um, that it comes with a random hand postcard. And I have no idea whose hand that is, because I cannot recognize them by their hands. So I wonder if it's going to say on the back, or if I will just need to consult the internet. It does not say on the back. Cool. So I have no idea whose hand this is. It is a mystery hand.
Which, that really is the most random, random member inclusion that I think I've seen. Just a random picture of one of their hands. I mean, the flowers are pretty, it's a pretty picture. It's just very bizarre to me. But I am amused. Very curious whose hand that is. I cannot even hazard a guess. I have not paid that close attention to their hands. And probably some of you who have been fans for a long time will look at that and immediately know and be like, how can you not know whose hand that is? I'm sorry. I am very new to the fandom. We all have to start somewhere, right? We can't recognize all of them by their hands, right, from day one. Oh, that's a really pretty picture. Is it in the forest? Yeah, this really is such a nice photo book. Oh wow, I didn't realize how many different outfits they had in this photo book either. That's really nice. But I believe these were all in the music video actually, so it makes sense. That is one thing I really appreciate about their albums is the consistency that there is between the music video concepts and the photo book concepts. Because I feel like a lot of groups don't do that. And it bugs me. It bugs me when the uh, photo shoot and music video don't match at all. Because sometimes you'll really like the music video concept, but there won't be a photo book for it. Or you'll really like the photo book concept, and the music video won't quite live up to it. So I really appreciate the unity that One Us has with theirs. I am actually a little bit nervous for the Lift album, though. Because a lot of the teasers have looked pretty bloody. And I am pretty squeamish when it comes to blood. So that's going to be an interesting unboxing when I get around to filming that one. Hoping there won't be anything too, too bad in the photo book, though. We have the credits. So yeah, that was really well put together. I am actually really impressed with this packaging. I was not expecting as much from this one as the many albums since it was just a single, but they definitely proved me wrong. They definitely put a lot of effort and attention to detail into making this photo book and this album package, and I would definitely recommend it if you are considering collecting wellness. Because not gonna lie, a lot of times you can skip out on single albums if you are trying to limit your collection, but I would highly recommend picking this up. I would not recommend skipping out on this one. Even though it is only two songs, the packaging is very much worth the money. Because, like I said, the photo book, they could have sold by itself and charged a decent price for just the photo book alone. It's that well made. Next up, we're going to take a look at the Luna 2020 Summer Package. I really was not expecting this package to be so huge. I thought it would be about the size of their Orbit 2.0 fan club kit, if not a little bit smaller. But this is definitely bigger than that, I can tell just by looking at it. The writing on the front cover is embossed, so it's kind of hard to pick up on camera. Um, it says Luna Island, and then the Luna Korean logo at the bottom. And it is a pretty unwieldy size. Um, got all that at the bottom. On the spine, it says Luna. And we've got, um, it like folds out to make a handle at the top, but I'm not going to do that just yet. And then on the back, we have the same image as the front. The actual material of the box is a little bit flimsy. Like it's a kind of thin cardboard, which combined with how big it is, does make it a little bit 
hard to handle well. Like, I feel like it will bend or get damaged pretty easily, but hopefully it will not. Oh, oh wow, this is a huge photo book. I was not expecting it to be this big. Oh, I am excited. Can I even get this out? Oh my god, I thought it would be like a thin little photo book. Because I don't read the specifications too closely for pre-order stuff. So I didn't read how many pages this was, but I was expecting a smaller photo book, kind of like what came with the Orbit 2.0. But this is huge. Like, look at how thick that is. I have actual official photo books that are not this thick. I am so excited to look through this now. This was actually an item that I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to purchase because I wasn't a huge fan of So What and I am a little bit iffy of where Luna's musical direction will go on the next album, especially because it's been such a long hiatus in between releases again. And I wasn't sure if this would really be worth it if I wasn't vibing with Luna's music as much anymore. But this is such a thick photo book that it is definitely worth it and I am so glad I did decide to pick this up. I'm very excited to look through that. Was not expecting that to be like that. Oh wow. It was such a pleasant surprise. And then, that is not the only thing that came in the package. We actually have another smaller photo book, which is called the Q&A book, which is honestly more like what I was expecting this to be sized like. I was expecting the photo book to be about this size, maybe a little bit thicker. And then we've got, I believe this is a postcard set. We'll look through that in a minute. And then our other assorted items. We have a, I believe it's a luggage strap. I don't have the contents list in front of me, so I could be wrong. But it's very cute. And then this set of stickers designed by the members. And then I believe these are also ID tags. It's kind of hard to get a good look out of them. They are transparent green. Very pretty. And then we just have the padding, taking up the rest of the space. And I've said it before, I'll say it again, I'm not a big fan of when packages are bigger than they need to be because of extra padding like this. I definitely think this could have been a smaller package than it was had they not done that like that. But I understand that is partly a marketing tactic. Because when something looks bigger and more impressive, people feel like they are getting more for their money's worth. Unfortunately, Hustle was once again not a part of this package, as she is still on hiatus. It's actually her birthday when I'm filming this, so I really, really hope that Hustle is having a wonderful birthday. She's taking care of herself and spending it with people that she loves. And I hope she knows that Orbits will be waiting as long as she needs. Um, here are the stickers. I think the members designed these. So we have Heejin. There's blank on the back. Choi Yojin. Oh, that is super cute. Phoebe. Kimlet. Jinsoul. Oh, that is precious. Hyunjin. Of course, hers is a cat. Heave. Oh, that's adorable. The big bunny with the tiny little head, that is precious. Choose, of course, is a precious penguin. Go on. And Olivia Hye to this cute little lion. Next up, I want to take a look at the postcards. These look more like glossy photos than necessarily postcards. So we have Heejin's. Yeah, because on the back it's kind of faint and hard to read. Well, they literally are uh, photos because it's Fujifilm. That's really neat, actually. We have Hyunjin, Yojin, that is so precious, the blush, adorable, Vivi, Kimlet, Jinsoul, what a cute picture, Cherry, Eve, oh that's beautiful. Gives me very, like, late 90s, early 2000s vibes. Oh, Juice is precious. I have Go On. Olivia Yay. And I have some group photos. 
very cute. Next, I want to take a look at the set of pre-order photo cards. These were only available if you pre-ordered from a certain place, I believe. There were a few different shops that offered them, though, which was good. So we have adhesions. Oh, and they do have handwritten messages on the back, which is very cute. Kenjin. Oh, she wrote her message that way as well. Yojin. Oh, that's an adorable photo card of Yojin. And I have no idea how I'm going to display these in my binder. Oh, Vivi's is super cute. I love her outfit. The colors are getting really weirdly washed out. Gingham is so cute. Alright, Kim Lip. Jinsol. Oh, th the makeup is very pretty. Alright, Cherry. Nian. Oh, Chu also did hers that way. Her picture is so cute. Go on. And Ollie. Very pretty. Yeah, those are super cute photo cards. Definitely glad I pre-ordered it from a place that was offering that benefit. Next, I'm going to take a look at the Q&A book, which is like a mini photo book with questions that they answered, I'm assuming. Yeah, it looks like, um, I cannot read Korean, but based on what I can make out, it looks like they asked a few questions, some short answers, and then some either or questions. So that's really neat. I'll have to look and see if I can find some translations of those online. So Heejin, Hanjin, Yojin. She looks so cute in everything I've seen from this album so far. Love the little watermelon hair clip. That's adorable. Vivi. Kim Lip. Jinsol. Cherry. Oh, Eve looks adorable there. I love the Windbreaker. Very 90s, 2000s. Chu. Go on. Oh, Olivia's pigtails. That's so precious. So, pretty simple. But that is a nice little bonus in addition to the big thick photo book, which I cannot get over how huge that is. I really was not expecting that. I really cannot get over how big this photo book is. I was not expecting it to be this big at all. I'm so pleasantly surprised. I'm gonna try my best to show you everything. That's really pretty. I have been trying to avoid spoilers, but I have seen a couple people post the part where it shows all the members' names on Twitter, and I really, really do appreciate that even though only 11 members participated in the photo shoot, all 12 of them are still listed out here. It's got all of the members' names, Heejin, Hyunjin, Hasul, Yojin, Vivi, Kim Lip, Jinsol, Cherry, Eve, Chu, Gowon, and Olivia K. Which is a small detail, but it is really, really nice because a lot of times if a member is not active, groups will unfortunately just leave them out. So it is really nice to see them still finding a way to include Hostel, even if she's not physically present in the photo book. We've got this group picture. It looks like we're starting off with the red and denim outfits. Oh, this is so pretty. So we start with Heejin and Hyunjin. And then Yojin and Vivi, which is not a pairing we see very often, but super, super cute. 
They both look so beautiful. For another group photo. Then we have our Odd Eye Circle girls, Kim Lip, Jinsel, and Cherry. Very cute. I love Cherry's overalls. Then we have Eve and Chu. Oh, that's such a cute picture of Chu. And Go On and Olivia. Yay, I love Go On's skirt. Very cute. Yeah, these photos you can see are absolutely gorgeous. I believe they shot this at Jeju, if I remember correctly. And orbits were clowns because we found out about them being at the airport to go to Jeju and thought they were filming for a comeback, but no, it was for a photo book release. But this is a very nice photo book, so I am not mad about that at all, actually. I do hope we get a comeback from them before the end of the year, though. I'm not expecting it to happen, unfortunately, but I really wish they would. We have a concept switch. Now they are in these summer dresses, which are super cute. Now these are gorgeous pictures of Hyojin. Of course, we have Hyunjin in a yellow dress. That is her signature color. Oh, that is such a pretty shot. And then Yojin. I love the clips in her hair, that's so pretty. Oh wow. Yeah, these are gorgeous. Yeah, I really love Vivi's outfit here. Reminds me of Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Very cute. And we have some unit photos. I see they are including Yojin in the one third unit this time around. And so what? She just got left out, which was a shame. She is so tiny. Look at how tiny she is compared to the other girls. Oh, that's adorable. Next we have Kim Lip. love the barrettes. I love that some like 90s and 2000s fashion trends are kind of coming back. All the little bow and ginsels here, that's so cute. Oh, that's such a beautiful dress on Cherry. And then our odd eye circle unit pictures. Oh, that's such a beautiful picture of Eve. I love that dress. So stunning. And Jew. Oh, that's really cute. Then go on. I love the gingham. It also kind of reminds me of Dorothy. Go ones is like the right color, but Vivi's styling reminded me more. I love the shade of Olivia's dress. Very pretty color. And our Lala by Y unit pictures. So cute. And then this was one of the teasers, I believe, or something very similar to it. Such a pretty shot. We have another concept switch, it looks like. I think this is the one that reminds me of Hi Hi. Oh yes, it does. With them in the field. Very pretty. 
I start with Heejin. Yeah, I really like this photo concept. It might be my favorite out of the whole photo book, but they're all really gorgeous. These pictures are so pretty. I don't even know if it's coming across on camera just how gorgeous they are. But they're such stunning, high quality close ups. Something about these photos really reminds me of the old Little House on the Prairie TV show. And that is a compliment because I would watch that show sometimes growing up and I used to think the main character was really pretty. So Heejin really does remind me of her here. Then I have Hyunjin. I am so impressed by this photo book. I know I keep saying it, but I cannot get over how gorgeous this is. Oh, Hyojin is so beautiful. She is so gorgeous. And Vivi. Oh my gosh, does she have, like... Oh my god, she does have, like, sticker glitter freckles. That is so cute. All of their styling for this photo book has been so good and so different from a lot of what they've put out so far. This actually really makes me really excited to see what they'll come out with next. I have Kim Lip. That's such a pretty picture. These pictures are so gorgeous and it's such a big, high quality photo book. I cannot get over it. I love, I love their makeup here. It's so cool. This is so cool. Cherry. The way that the sunlight is bringing out the red in her hair is so pretty. She also has the sticker freckle makeup. It's so cute. I got it that I was a little bit bummed out when we first found out that they were filming a photo book thing and not an actual comeback. But now that I actually have this photo book in my hands, I'm so glad they put this out. It is so gorgeous and so worth it. It is so pretty. And all the flower crowns. I'm such a sucker for flower crowns. My favorite aesthetic. Two. Oh, oh, this is precious. With the stickers and the pretty white bow on her hair. Oh, this is so precious. Go on. Like, I don't think you can really tell on camera just how big these pages are and how close up these close ups are because of how big the pages are. It's so impressive. So pretty. Then our Wild by Worry group photo. All the scenery shots are really gorgeous too. Get another concept switch. Oh no, it's just some group photos of them in those dresses. So pretty. Oh, we do have another concept switch. This is the casual outfits from the photos. These are so cute and so casual. And I like how they actually have different concepts slightly for the different units. That's a really cool touch. So we see her in the pool. Why by why? In the backyard, I guess. So cute. Oh, and then we have the campfire photo set as well cute how it's set up to look like an Instagram post. The ocean's little buns and the watermelon hair clip is just precious. Yeah, I would not be mad if they do keep 
putting her in the one third unit. She fits really well with them. Let me see. My one complaint I would say about this photo book is I feel like they didn't show enough of the first set of casual outfits compared to the rest of the outfits. But I suppose that is why we got the photos to like make up for that. Because that had a bunch of those shots in there. So we have our credits and a making of DVD, which I'm not sure if that is subtitled or not. Don't remember it saying if it was, so I'm going to oh actually it says it on the back. It does have subtitles. That is awesome. Yes, it's all region, uh, language Korean, subtitle English, running time 32 minutes. That is super impressive. Good on you, BBC, for including English subtitles here. I am super excited to watch that later now. That is it for today's unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more unboxings or K-pop hauls like this one, you can check out the other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.